Hi there, welcome to the Reynolds Report. Let's have a look at a few contenders for the NFL Most Valuable Player Prize. So at number five, I've got a couple of non-quarterbacks on this list. Antonio Brown no longer on the list. Uh, I think that torn calf muscle uh, and missing the final two games uh, hurts his chances. Uh, but Todd Gurley, you've got to look at what he's done for the Rams. 17 touchdowns this year, just been a star reborn under Sean McVay. So Todd Gurley is at number five. What about Case Keenum at number four? I think Case Keenum now, if we take the name off the back of his jersey, has to be considered a true NFL star. We still look at him as a stand-in quarterback or a backup quarterback, but Case has been outstanding. 20 of 23 on Sunday night against the Cincinnati Bengals, 9 of 9 on third down. Uh, so what about Case Keenum as an outsider uh, for the MVP? Uh, at number three, he has a strong running game to lean on, but... He is a quarterback who's led his team to 10 wins, so Drew Brees is going to get some consideration. And a down year for Drew Brees in terms of numbers still has him at the very top of the list in terms of passing yards, completion percentage, still an elite quarterback. Uh, so I think Drew Brees is going to get some votes. I think at number two, I would put Le'Veon Bell. I think Le'Veon Bell is so pivotal to what the Pittsburgh Steelers do. And they are going to run him into the ground. They are going to throw it to him. A relatively quiet game by his standards against New England, and he still goes over 100 yards rushing. So that's how important Bell is, and he's going to have a big part to play the rest of the way. And number one remains Tom Brady. He just gets the job done week in and week out, driving down the field, throwing passes to Rob Gronkowski, winning the game for the New England Patriots. So Tom, at the age of 40, I think he's on track to be this year's NFL Most Valuable Player.